Hello everyone, this is Manzar Ali, a final semester student at Sakkar IP University, also the STHP 2020 scholar. So today we will discuss the sample paper of 2024-25. So today we will see the sample paper in English portion. Okay, that in which kind of questions come and we will see them and we will solve them. So here you can see the sample test paper given by Sakurai Bay University. Syllabus of the test is here. In English part, we have reading comprehension, vocabulary, synonym, antonym, use of preposition, error detection, use of verbs, use of pair of words, a use of tenses and spelling. And in mathematics portion, we have real number system, algebraic expressions, linear and quadratic equations, absolute value, linear inequalities, relations and functions, system of equations, word problems and applications, area, perimeter, circumference, volume, fractions, decimals, and percent or percentage, the ratio of proportion, variation, unit rate. So, what do we have to see in English? portion ka uh, solution theek hai so first of all we have reading comprehension so here is the passage given in this uh, sample paper that is can we see that the earth is a globe yes we can when we watch a ship that sails out to sea if we watch closely we see the ship begin to disappear the bottom of the ship disappears first and then the ship seems to sink lower and lower until we can only see the top of the ship and then we see nothing at all. What is hiding the ship from us? It is the earth. I stick a pin most of the way into an orange and slowly turn the orange away from you. You will see the pin disappear just as a ship uh, does on the earth so the first question is this story is mainly about a the shape of the earth b traveling to the new world c sailing ships in the old days d the shapes of fruits such as oranges so here option a is correct the shape of the earth right because in this pa uh, passage explains how the disappearing ship uh, demonstrates the earth's curvature which relates to its uh, you know spherical shape uh, question number two is that the ship in this story a probably sank to the bottom of the ocean b was going farther and farther away c was actually a toy D was a sailing ship. So the correct option here is B. Was going farther and farther away, right? Uh, actually, the passage describes the ship disappearing as it moves further away, right? Not because it sank. So the question three is that a globe is shaped like A, a box, B, a pyramid, C, an orange, D and ice cream cone. So the correct option here is an orange, right? Because this passage uses an orange as a comparison to illustrate the shape of the earth uh, like this. Here you can see orange. So the portion second is about vocab, like vocabulary, synonyms. Their diet is often grossly unbalanced. Option A, completely, uh, B, nearly, C, often, D, frequently. So the correct option here is option A, completely. Uh, actually, the word grossly, grossly means to an extreme or excessive degree, right? In this context, we can see like it emphasizes uh, that the diet is entirely or we can say completely completely in balance making completely is the best synonym in this context right so the question second in synonym the whole thing is 
अबीशियस सर्किल ऑप्शन ए सीवियर ऑप्शन बी वेरी बेड ऑप्शन सी डेंजरस ऑप्शन डी क्रिटिकल सो द करेक्ट ऑप्शन इन दिस क्वेश्चन इज वेरी बेड लाइक ऑप्शन बी द टर्म विशियस सर्किल रिफर्स basically it refers to a problematic situation that keeps worsening because of its own effects while all options you know uh, could imply negativity very bad is closest to the intended meaning in the context of the sentence right as it aligns with the idea of something that perpetuates harm or difficulty so we easily understand from the context of the sentence that vicious circle means like very bad so in the portion of antenna right the people must then go hungry option a well kept option b well cared for option c well looked after option d well fed so the option d is correct in this question like uh, the antonym of hungry is well fed as it uh, you know uh, directly implies having enough food to eat right the other options describe uh, you know care in general but don't specifically contrast with hungry so we can easily understand from the context of this sentence that hungry is the opposite of well fed right question number 2 a particular a uh, country might be generous option a miserly option b moderate option c extravagant option d frugal so the correct option here is option a miserly actually the antonym of generous like it meaning giving or sharing uh, freely so it is definitely is miserly which means being very reluctant to spend money or share resources right so the other options don't directly oppose generous as strongly so we can easily understand the uh, you know opposite meaning or antonym of generous is miserly so here is the portion of use of prepositions the committee regrets that it cannot exceed dash your request for a month's paid leave option a for option b to option c in option d with so here the correct option is option b that is to like the correct uh, preposition with exceed is to so it uh, it means to agree to a demand a request or a treaty for example exceed to your request is a, a common collocation so we can easily understand that the meaning of sorry uh, that the correct use of preposition here is to exceed to your request for a month's paid leave question number second our college is affiliated dash the university of sin a with b to c for d in so the correct option here is again option b to Uh, it typically uh, to when referring to a formal connection between two organizations such as a college and a university so with can uh, sometimes be used informal informally affiliated to is more uh, precise in this context right तो हम कुछ जग, uh, कुछ जगह पे with भी use करते हैं but जब हम मतलब किसी भी organizations के बीच में connection को show कर रहे होते हैं तो उधर हमने क्या लिखना होता है टूल लगाना होता है जो कि लाइक एक किस्म का स्ट्रॉन्ग हमें कनेक्शन बताता है उसमें तो इधर टू आएगा ठीक है लाइक आवर कॉलेज इज एफिलेटेड टू द यूनिवर्सिटी ऑफ सिंध राइट सो इर डिटेक्शन जॉर्ज हैज नॉट कंप्लीटेड द असाइनमेंट येट एंड मारिया हैज नॉट नाइदर ऑब्वियसली ऑप्शन डी इज करेक्ट हियर because we can see that george has not completed the assignment yet and maria has not either 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 aayega neither nahi aayega 
because the word neither creates a uh, you know a double negative because the phrase has not neither already uh, you know includes the negation has not english grammar uh, you know english grammar does not allow double negatives in standard usage so the correct word is either instead of neither agar either either hota to tab sahi tha ठीक है बट इधर नाइदर लिखा हुआ है तो इधर जो एरर है वो ऑप्शन टी है नाइदर की ठीक है सो क्वेश्चन टू इज द सन रोज बिफोर आई गॉट अप तो हेयर द एरर इज ऑप्शन इज ऑप्शन बी राइट रोज द यूज ऑफ वर्क क्वेश्चन नंबर वन Lucy is a good girl and dash for her brother. A long, B longs, C is longing, D longed. So the correct option here is C is longing. Right. Lucy is a good girl and is longing for her brother. Right. Question number two. Mango is a fruit. Mango is fruit that I dash. option a am always liking have been always liking have always liked have been always liked so here the option c is correct right mango is fruit that i have always liked sahi hai to ab aa jate hain pair of words ke usage par उसके दो क्वेश्चंस मिले हुए हैं पहले क्वेश्चन में क्या बता रहा है लेट्स सी सम विग्ड डैश मेड डैश ऑफ देयर आइडल सो ऑप्शन ए फन फैंस बी फैन फन सी फैंस फन डी फैंस फंस सो ऑब्वियसली द करेक्ट ऑप्शन इज यू नो ऑप्शन सी फैंस फन so when we put this uh, option in this sentence it sounds like that some wigged fans made fun of their idol here you know uh, that uh, fans refers to the people who admire or support someone in this case the idol is the uh, you know someone who is being admired so fun refers to enjoyment or amusement the phrase made fun of is an idiomatic expression in this uh, you know context meaning to mock or ridicule anyways dusra hum question dekhte hain the male child who is the only dash to the property has long smooth golden dash option a hair hair b Hair, hair, C hairs, hair, D hair, hair. So here, option D is right. Hair. The male child who is the only heir to the property has long, smooth, golden what? Hair, obviously. So hair, H E I R, वाला hair. ठीक है. It refers to a person who is legally entitled to inherit. property or a title to someone like uh, agar hum isko urdu mein bole ke us property ka waris like hair kehte hain waris ko theek hai to us property ka jo akela waris tha wo ek child tha jo ke male tha theek hai baki is hair ki aapko meaning pata hai jiski meaning, meaning hai kya dal theek hai h a i r wala hair sahi hai So moving forward, use of tenses. पहला क्वेश्चन देखते हैं I wish I were young forever. Option A present indefinite tense. Option B present perfect tense. Option C past indefinite tense. Option D past perfect tense. So here the option A is correct. Present indefinite tense. ठीक है आपने कंफ्यूज नहीं होना जो पहले हमारा वर्ब आएगा हमने उसको देखना है ठीक है तो इधर लिखा हुआ है आई विश तो ये ऑब्वियसली किसको शो कर रहा है प्रेजेंट को शो कर रहा है प्रेजेंट फॉर्म ऑफ द वर्ब को शो कर रहा है तो हम ऑब्वियसली क्या लगाएंगे इधर प्रेजेंट इंडेफिनेट टेंस इज द राइट वन 
सही है बाकी ये जो इधर वर्ड लगाया हुआ है ये आय के साथ वर्ड लगाया हुआ है तो मैंने कुछ अपने लेक्चर्स में बताया है कि अगर आय के साथ हम वर्ड लगाते हैं तो वो काइंड ऑफ क्या शो कर रहा होता है विश को शो कर रहा होता है ठीक है आय हो गया या ही या शी वाट एवर जब हम वर्ड लगाते हैं वो काइंड ऑफ ख्वाहिश को शो कर रहा होता है विश को शो कर रहा होता है ठीक है सो मूविंग फॉरवर्ड क्वेश्चन नंबर टू इन दी यूजेज ऑफ टेंसेज और वी कैन से यूज ऑफ टेंसेज डेथ टोल ऑफ द अर्थ को एक विक्टम्स इज फियर टू हैव इंक्रीज ऑप्शन ए पास्ट इनडेफिनेट टेंस ऑप्शन बी पास परफेक्ट टेंस ऑप्शन सी प्रेजेंट इनडेफिनेट टेंस ऑप्शन डी प्रेजेंट परफेक्ट टेंस इस केस में ही सेम प्रेजेंट इनडेफिनेट टेंस ठीक है ऑप्शन सी इज करेक्ट है राइट तो वो कैसे आप इधर देख सकते हैं डेथ टोल ऑफ द अर्थ को एक विक्टम्स इज फियर टू हैव इंक्रीज तो इधर काइंड ऑफ ये एक किस्म का पैसे सेंटेंस ये डिपिक्शन दे रहा है समहा तो हमने क्या इधर करेक्ट ऑप्शन हमारा क्या होगा वो होगा प्रेजेंट इनडेफिनेट टेंस ठीक है तो हमने इस तरीके से कुछ टेंस को आइडेंटिफाई करना होता है सही है सो दिस इज दी सोल्यूशन ऑफ होल पोर्शन ऑफ इंग्लिश अच्छा एक टॉपिक हमारा रह गया एक्चुअली इस जो हमारा सैंपल पेपर मिला हुआ है इसमें वो नहीं है वो क्या था इंग्लिश के पोर्शन में स्पेलिंग अब स्पेलिंग में बेसिकली क्या होगा कि भाई कोई भी स्पेलिंग मिली हुई होगी आपके पास ठीक है तो उसमें ना नीचे चार ऑप्शन मिले हुए होंगे तो वो स्पेलिंग हमें करेक्ट स्पेलिंग बतानी है उस किसी भी वर्ड की ठीक है जैसे भाई कोई भी रैंडम वर्ड हो गया ठीक है डिसिप्लिन हो गया तो डिसिप्लिन के अकॉर्डिंग चार डिफरेंट किस्म की स्पेलिंग होंगी वो आपको बताने होंगे कि भाई इस सेंटेंस में कौन सी वो स्पेलिंग सही है ठीक है सो दिस इज ऑल फ्रॉम माय साइड होप इट विल हेल्प यू अलॉट